Artist James Little was born in 1952 in Memphis, Tennessee, and moved to New York City in 1976. He received a BFA from Memphis Academy of Art and an MFA from Syracuse University. His distinctive aesthetic language is rooted in geometric shapes and patterns, flat surfaces, and emotive color relationships. Rather than directly addressing the social and political turmoil of any moment, Little chose abstraction because it was a field in which he could express his free will. He also, like many artists, questions what makes a painting great. He says, quote, I make paintings unadorned that reflect the relationship I have with the, with the medium and good design. I am not interested in illusionism, the way a lot of abstract artists are. I'm interested in flatness, the flat plane, and materials that keep, that keep illusions at bay. I am trying to stand up next to the great painters, paintings of the past, end quote. Borrow Times, made in 2021, was exhibited in the 2022 Whitney Biennial Quiet as It Kept. It is made by oil using oil on linen. It is a study of color theory, theory pictorial design, and painting techniques. His practice embodies the complementary forces of simplicity and complexity. He says, quote, what I ascri as ascribe to do in my art are modernist te tenants without replication or appropriation. I am try I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel. I'm just trying to improve on it. Modernism to me is like democracy. There are these fragile experiments, these fragile structures that have held up and they have to keep being supported one way or another, aesthetically or politically. Abstraction provided me with self-determination and free will. It was liberating. I don't find freedom in any other form because, sorry, people like to have an answer before they have the experience. Abstraction doesn't offer you that. It is up to you. You have to determine the outcome for yourself. That's why I do it, end quote. White stars and black stripes is one of his series. And it was also included in the Whitney Biennial. Stars and Stripes, which is seen in the center, is two-tone black paintings, a theme that he has explored in variation over the last decade. He spent he spends three months on each piece, painstakingly building their building their intersecting vectors in up to 20 layers of hand-blended pigments that he mixes with hot beeswax to seal the color and shiny finish. Similar to the encaustic painting technique used by ancient Egyptian and Greek artists, blending, the ha blending his handmade pigments with hot beeswax is usual for the artists over overture. He makes his own binders and grinds his own pigments and paints. A majority of his works using what is the most complex and difficult to master method, method ever devised. Which he uses between 10 and 20 layers of colors. Thespian Stories, which is on the left, created in 2022 was also created on linen. Each colorful square can
contains a multitude of swirling pig pigments applied with eyedroppers. After more than four decades, he has stayed true to his labor-intensive approach to abstraction. In his newer paintings, seen on the right, color and structure are critical fixations that in Little's work complement his geometric pictorial style. The edge of, edges of his vertical bands are saturated with lucid color as they give way to other patterns, chevrons, rectangles, and zigzag designs of varying widths.